everyone. It is officially December. We can talk about Christmas and that's what we're going to do today. This was the hint and last week's video was my bright red lipstick and yes, I feel Christmassy even though it's like 70 outside. This has been requested and I'm finally delivering it and that is some of my favorite Christmas books. I'll probably do this every year. I don't personally read that many Christmas books as a general rule, but I've put together about five of my favorites, so here we go. I cannot start off this video without mentioning this one first. This just has to be mentioned first. And what is that book? Sleigh Bells by Janice Hanna. She also has it published under Janice Thompson. It's the same book. They're both great. I recommend you get them both. Oh, Y'all, this is actually my annual Christmas Eve read. I think this will be the fourth year I've read it on Christmas Eve. It's just an annual thing. This book just makes me feel happy. All her books do, but this one is just, ah, uh, it's a classic in my mind, y'all. It's also set in the historical time period I love, the early 1900s. This one is 1916, and ooh, 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 ooh. What's interesting, though, is this book is actually kind of set around the women's suffrage movement, but not in the typical way we see in Christian fiction. Not gonna say anymore, but it's, oh. It, it's, I, I can't even talk about this book, y'all. I just love it so much. It is, oh, I love this book. I can't, I don't know what else to say besides, oh, I love this book. Uh, yep, just gonna fangirl about it. If you like historicals, you want to try a Janice Thompson book or another one, or you're on the mission like I am to read all of her books, then definitely pick up this one. I, I've read it more than, I've read it at least three times, and that's saying something as someone who does not like rereading books. That's a, that's a high thing right there, y'all. Another one I'm going to mention today is actually a 2 in one where you have the bound edition, and then you have the two singles. And that's Finding Father Christmas, and then Engaging Father Christmas by Robin Jones Gunn. I do own these singles, but then I got my hands on this new pretty edition, and I'm like, ooh. Very nice. You may have actually seen the Hallmark movies that have came out with both. Last year it was Finding Father Christmas and then this year it was Engaging Father Christmas. And fun fact, the main girl, Miranda, she's played by Anne Krako who plays our main girl in When Calls the Heart on Hallmark. So chances are, if you know Hallmark, then you probably know it. I'm going to let you all in on the secret though. The books are better. No shock, y'all. I'm a booktuber, not a movie tuber. I actually haven't seen the second movie yet. My mom has seen it and she liked it, but she hasn't read the books. I keep telling her she needs to read the books. They're little books. You can read them. So our main girl in the first book is Miranda. She's also the main girl in the second book, but I'm not going to talk about the second book because of spoilers. But our first book is about Miranda trying to find about her biological father. She's never known him. She wants to meet him and maybe the family. And it's basically her journey into finding family and love. Yeah, so little Hallmark cliche, little synopsis thing I just did right there. Ha ha ha. It's just, it's a really cute read and it's Robin Jones guide. So of course there's a lot of faith content. There's a lot more faith content in the books than in the movies, obviously. But so I personally say the books are better, but that's, that's normal. Another book is The Christmas Joyride by Melody Carlson. This is one of her many Christmas reads. I haven't read all of them, but I have read quite a few, and I would say this is my favorite out of all of them. Basically, it, oh wait, she's a Miranda too. Oh, oh that's fun. Out of the five books on here, we have three Mirandas, though Technically, two of them are the same, but okay, anyway, I kind of just want, okay, so look at the cover while I read to y'all about what it's about. Miranda did not put adventure on her Christmas list, but thanks to her 85-year-old neighbor, Joy, that's exactly what she's getting this year. When Joy tells Miranda that she plans to drive an old RV decked out in Christmas decorations from their Chicago neighborhood to her new re retirement digs in Phoenix in the dead of winter, no less, the much younger Miranda insists that Joy cannot make such a trip by herself. Unemployed and facing foreclosure, Miranda feels that she has nothing to lose by packing a bag and heading off with Joy towards Route 66. But Joy has a hidden agenda for their Christmas joyride, one that could derail the entire venture. Doesn't that just sound like a cute read? It was a cute read. I'm going on a mission, Miranda. I'm going to spread some Christmas joy along Route 66 and no one's going to stop me. Yep, there you go. That's a pretty good, uh... It's just a cute, entertaining read. And honestly, this cover just has to make you feel Christmassy. Don't you think? 
I think so. Again, this would also be like a great one for Hallmark Christmas movies fans. So if I could get my mom to read it. But this honestly would be a perfect fit. I personally prefer books to movies. This one hasn't been made into movie, but it, I bet it could be one day. It definitely has like all the criteria. Okay, this is going to be a really short video because this is the last book. I only wanted to mention a few. Okay, so this next one I actually read a couple months ago. Not in Christmas season, oh well. And that's A Wild Goose Chase Christmas by Jennifer Ali. And oh my goodness. Again, this is cute. Why are Christmas... Why are these good Christmas books just so cute? I don't know why, but this one, this one met that criteria as well. Let me just give y'all this little teaser real quick. A quilt, a secret message, a dog, and a possible treasure makes for an unforgettable Christmas. And I feel like that's all you really need to know going into this book, because it's so cute. So basically, it follows our main girl, Izzy, and her grandmother has just passed away and left her this quilt. And when it comes out that it's basically a treasure map, you better believe everybody's trying to get to that quilt. So it's got humor though, and it's banter, but it's also really sweet, and oh, it was just such a cute read. Okay, y'all, those were just some of my favorite Christmas novels. They were just, they're fun, and even the spines look Christmassy. Yeah, match my lipstick, hey! Okay, so this was a really short video again. I try to keep these videos between like 9 minutes and 13 minutes. I feel like that's a really good time frame, but... I either talk way too much or I don't talk enough. I, I don't normally hit the sweet spot, so oh well. So there you go. Those were some of my favorite Christmas reads. These are either all set in the U.S. or the U.K. I haven't found any books for Christmassy, Christian fiction-wise, that are set below the equator, which I think would be really neat because when you're below the equator, your seasons are flip-flopped to the north of the equator. So it's fascinating to me. I think it'd be cool to spend a Christmas where it's some like when it's summer but you know I kind of do that in Texas anyway last year I was wearing shorts so yeah <laughs> so who knows what this Christmas will be like but I know I will see y'all before then I have lots more videos on the to-do list for December I've got some fun tags coming up and then of course we have to start preparing for 2018 we have to wrap up 2017 we have to talk about the favorite books of 2017 we'll have to wrap up December and then we have to get talking about 2018 anticipated reads for 2018 oh I'm so excited for that y'all okay okay y'all that's it that's it I'm not gonna fangirl anymore about 2018 because I can't just wish away 2017 no that's not right that is not right to do Okay, y'all, so that's it for this video. I know it was a little shorter than normal. I still hope you enjoyed these. Let me know how many of these you've read, how many are now added to your TBR. I would love to know in the comments below. I'm Lindsay from the blog Books for Christian Girls at blogspot.com, where I post a new review every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have a new video on this channel every Thursday, and I'm on Instagram every other day. Bye, y'all.